<clears throat> Hello, everybody! Today, I want to talk to you about the diminishing returns of education. And I know some of the things I say here are going to be really disagreeable. I'm not really a person who lives a life that is the way society wants me to live. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm going to be talking about things that most people do not say, okay? And let me give you some backstory first. So I come from a very educated family. In my family, it's very normal to go to college. That's the standard, okay? But I've been exposed to many countries in the world. Um, by the time I was 10, I'd lived in Saudi Arabia, in the US, in Africa, and in Sri Lanka. I have always been a foreigner. I've always been a person who is different than those around me. And this is so fundamentally true that I feel most at home being around people who I don't understand, who are speaking a different language. I like to be able to go to the grocery store and not understand all the words. That, for me, is home, okay? I'm a very, I'm a mutt. I'm not from one country. That's why it's so easy for me to live here in Nicaragua because of my childhood, right? But this childhood also exposed me to some of the unfortunate realities of the education system. Um, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but education has diminishing returns. The more people are educated, the less valuable education is for each individual. And let me get into this. Let me explain what's really happening here. Because as far as I understand, my kids, what's best for them is absolutely not a college education. What's best for them is quality time spent with me and their mother. I don't have any kids yet, but that is my understanding of the absolute best thing that you can give to children. It's not education. And let me elaborate more on this because we live in a world that is ruled and parented by people who lived in a totally different world than the world that exists today. For example, 40 years ago in the US, you could just get a high school degree and that would give you a, some level of job security. And then if you got a college degree, one, 40 years ago, college was actually almost free in the US. But two, if you got a college degree, you had job security. You could get jobs for the rest of your life because so few people had college education. So it didn't take much. It didn't take much education to get yourself in an advantageous position where you stand over the crowd. The problem with this is that's not how the world works anymore. We live in an era where a college education is the minimum. Everyone has college degrees. A high school degree does nothing for you. Literally, in the US, there's not even jobs anymore who are going to reject you because you don't have a high school diploma. It really doesn't matter. A high school diploma does not get you any job that no certification would get you. We live in an era where it's get a college or a master's degree or bust, basically. So, so many people have been educated at this point that you don't actually get that much of an advantage by being college educated. And what's worse is there are so many scams about getting you to pay for something. And from my experience, most of US society is a scam. If you believe that your kid is gonna be better off with the college education than your time of day spent with them, you're delusional. Like, I, I get that, but for me as a young person, 
I can tell you, I've met loads of young people who screw themselves up. They regularly self-sabotage, make bad decisions, don't act upon the things that they love, and they hate their lives. I know people who are suicidal, depressed, and honestly, it's way more people than you would expect. We're living in a time where since I was born, the rich have become richer, the poor have become poorer, the middle class is smaller, mental health is degrading. In the US, quality of life is not improving. As a child in the US right now, your chances of making more money than your parents is very, very, very slim. Unless your parents didn't go to college and you go to college, then I'm not saying that can't work, it can. But what I'm saying is we are being sold a lie in many, many, many ways. Because as I mentioned, a lot of my friends who have troubles, a lot of the people I've met, these problems come from their parents not being around or their parents' parents not being around with them, so then they don't know how to do that for their kids, and this gives the children problems that will destroy any relationship they make. It will destroy any job opportunity they find. And I'm making this video in the off chances that someone out there, instead of working your ass off so you can afford to send your kid to college, you really have to ask yourself, is that worth the cost of not being present early on in the child's life? Me, for example, I don't have a college education. I left that, right? I saw the debt piling up and I was like, screw this. I'm not just gonna do what everyone's doing just because they're doing it. I wanna live a life that is meaningful, that matters to me. But I see now how I'm able to be so happy. I'm able to deal with life. I get sad, I get depressed, but I don't make decisions out of those states. I'm able to live a beautiful quality of life. I get to spend my whole day doing things that I love, taking care of gorgeous chickens. Sorry, girl. And it's awesome. But none of this came from college. This honest to God came because my father in particular spent a lot of time with me. So I just don't have the problems that a lot of my friends have. I'm able to just be happy and, and do things that I care about. And a lot of these people, a lot of people I know, they aren't. They can't even use their degrees because they, they aren't confident enough to pitch themselves to people. They aren't confident enough to continuously apply to jobs and get rejected over and over and over and over and over again. Confidence is far more valuable than education because we live in a time where education is free. You can educate yourself using the internet and YouTube way faster than school can and you can earn good money from this. Obviously, you're not going to be able to become a doctor from YouTube, but we live in a time where education is widely available, free, and fast. Yet, we're still acting like the best way to get educated is to go to these archaic school systems that are designed to make it so poor people can't afford education. And if you don't believe me, look back 40 or 50 years in the US in particular, because school used to be affordable, but our, let's say, the powers that be, were a bit unsettled by all the minorities getting college degrees and getting higher up in society. Ooh, that said no, no. So you gotta figure out, well, how can we make it harder for these minorities to end up in positions of power? Because believe it or not, the people at the top at the time, they were concerned with this kind of stuff. So you can say I'm cynical, you can say whatever you want, but this is my worldview. And I've studied a lot of history at this point. I've spent the past like four or five years studying YouTube and history and all sorts of different things. And it's quite obvious that education has diminishing returns. I'm not saying education is worthless, but your kid is gonna be better off with confidence than they are with a degree. And really take a moment to, to ask yourself, what is important in this life? I know too many kids, too many young people 
who have degrees, who went to college, but they're insecure, they're miserable, they can't make decisions for themselves, they have very little critical thinking, they don't know how to deal with something when it comes up and they've never had experience before, when life kills someone they know or someone gets sick, they get screwed, they don't know what to do, they go into depression, they get suicidal. As far as I can tell, in my life, my short life, I'm 29, almost 30, right? The people I know who are educated and the people I know who are not educated have similar amounts of suffering. Education, like a degree, does not mean you will have a higher quality of life. It used to, it absolutely used to. Like 40 years ago, before the internet was a thing, it was a huge quality of life improvement. But now, honestly, you can build an amazing life with no education at all. If you are alone, you're not bound to where you are, you're single, you're not providing for anyone, you can get an online job working a minimum wage for part time and go into a country like Nicaragua, rent a fully furnished house and provide for a lover off of a minimum wage job that you don't even work full time. You, and I get that you probably don't believe me, but that's the reality of, of this earth. Most countries in the world, you can live a great life off of just working half the time, earning seven or eight dollars an hour. That is how absurdly expensive life has become in the developed nations. And this trend is not changing. It's just going to get worse. And even when college is free, it's a lot better. Because, I mean, if you have access to free education, you may as well just get yourself educated. You know, it's one thing if you have to pay $150,000. But a free education, I mean, come on, that's pretty great. But even then, you still have the prospect of working 40, 50 hours just to cover your basic needs. And that's not even being able to provide for someone, not even being able to raise a child. You know, to raise two children in the USA to the age of 17 and not pay for their college costs around $240,000. That's around $120,000 per child to the age of 17. <laughs> Here in Nicaragua, that is a huge quantity of money. You could raise a family of four or five children to that age. You could live a very frivolous, luxurious, vacation beach resort filled life for that much money. Or you can try and raise one kid in one of the most expensive countries in the world and then they'll be insecure, they'll have all these same problems because they don't really have any advantages because the norm is college education. So really, don't let yourself get fooled. Your time here on this earth is very, very short. And the most valuable thing is the time you get to spend with the people you love or doing the things that you love. There is no amount of work or money that justifies not being there for your kid. Your kid will have a better quality of life they will be more able to make empowered decisions if you spend time with them. It's not about getting them that education. It's not about that. It's about giving them the mind that allows them to make the best of their life. To so chew on that for a bit, because people really don't talk about this kind of stuff. You know, it's, uh, it's unusual. I have a great luxury to have been exposed to the very educated parts of the world and the impoverished parts of the world. And to be honest, I prefer the impoverished parts. People are more down to earth. They're more able to appreciate material when they get it. They're just as likely to screw each other over as the people I knew in the US. I knew tons of really selfish, really self-centered, ignorant, naive people. The money didn't fix that. All right, everybody, I've made my points. Obviously, I know a lot of people don't agree with this kind of thing, but this is how I live my life. These are my values, okay? 
And if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I offer consultations. It's $20 per 30 minute session. We can talk about anything you want. Usually the people who book these are interested in Nicaragua or some kind of technical software thing. They wanna learn how to use some program or tool. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, it worked.